Hello, I'm Laura from Foxtech, and today I'll show you how to use a card reader to transfer files between your iPhone and a micro SD card. Let's get right into it. As you might already know, iPhones don't have a built-in micro SD card slot. That's a feature you'll only find on Android devices. But if you need to move files between your iPhone and a micro SD card, there are easy ways to do it with the right adapter. First, you'll need to choose the correct adapter for your iPhone. If you're using an iPhone with a lightning port, like the older models, you'll need a lightning to micro SD card reader. But if you have an iPhone 15, or newer, which uses a USB-C port, then you'll want to go with a USB-C to micro SD card reader instead. Next, insert your micro SD card into its larger SD card adapter. These adapters usually come with the card when you buy it, and they make the micro SD card compatible with most readers. Once the card is in the adapter, plug it into your reader. Now connect the reader to your iPhone either using the Lightning or USB-C port depending on your iPhone model. After that, open the Files app on your iPhone. Under the Location section, you should see the micro SD card appear as a storage option. Once it's listed, you're ready to manage your files. At this point, you can browse through your card's contents, select files, and transfer them between your iPhone and the micro SD card. Whether you're working with photos, videos, or documents, the process is straightforward just like moving files between folders on a computer. For even more flexibility, you can use the share function in iOS to send files directly between your iPhone and the card, making it simple to share content with other devices or backup important data. When you're done, remember to safely eject the micro SD card by disconnecting the reader. This is important because it helps prevent data loss or corruption, ensuring that your files stay intact. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Foxtech for more iPhone tips and tutorials. See you later.